battle chasers. Is it worth a buy, guys? Is it is it worth getting your money out of your pocket and throwing it at this game? It's twenty four ninety nine. That's a Laura, Laura, Laura. Well, it's a good job. I've checked it out for you, and I'm going to tell you whether it's worth a buy. So let's read the words of the words. Battle Chasers Night War is an RPG inspired by the classic console greats. Greats? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, featuring deep dungeon diving, turn based combat presented in a classic JRPG format, and a rich story driven by exploration of the world. Yes, guys, it's a JRPG, which stands for German Role Playing Game. And uh, this is a very good example of a GRPG. Mac, you don't know what a GRPG is, do you? Yeah? I don't know what a GRPG is. I know exactly what is a GRP. I know what I know what a... Guys, I'm a professional <laughs> reviewer. Is a... It's an interactive novel where a WRPG is a create your own neighbor, what's a GRP? And the fact that GRP, literally a Japanese role playing game, guys. <laughs> See, you, you get everything, you, you learn everything. Guys, f off, seriously. GRPG, ARPPG, GGPPG, GNPKK, kek. You know what the f? What the? It's a fing role playing game, all right? Fing GRPG. Who shot GR? I don't know. Fing Sue well and the drunken cow. It's an RPG, guys. A dungeon crawling RPG. And what you do, you've got these three gadgets that you control. One's a tart, one's a robot, and one's this kind of hero kind of guy, you know, thinks he's it. And uh, you have these three, and you go around a map killing trash mobs and getting shit loot. But you're leveling up slowly off all the trash mobs and you find a little village and in the village there's some people who aren't really that friendly but you know there's like enchanters blacksmith and innkeeper a guy who steals every way well, doesn't steal he collects stuff for you uh, there's a guy who sells potions like an alchemist and all the rest of it and so to cut a very long a very very long story short guys you level up your characters you give them better gear you've got armor swords Potions, all that kind of stuff. You can enchant your weapons, enchant your armor. There's a whole, guys, there is a shit load of stuff to collect in this game. All rating from the usual RPG colors, where it's white, like gray is shit, right up to epic, legendary, and, and all the rest of it. So you've got every, you've got all the ingredients, guys, for some really good RPGing. And what makes this even better is it looks great the graphics look so nice it is so cute it is so inviting it's so warm it's so atmospheric you've got three different types of graphic styles in this game you've got the main one when you're inside the dungeons and things like that which i'll come to shortly uh, which looks just fabulous it's so well done the amount of care that's been put into this game is just freaking amazing guys the, the developers of this game have really highly polished this game and it has paid off because it does look brilliant. It also sounds great as well, guys. The voiceovers are just top draw in this game. You, you really do want to listen to what they're saying, even though the story isn't brilliant, but meeting all the different types of people in the game, the innkeepers, the blacksmith and things, all sound differently. They've all got a, a little tale to tell you, and it's all done really, really well. Why, hello. I think the six playable characters in this game but this game is so big guys it is huge i think i've done seven hours straight on this game today absolutely loved it couldn't put it down you just get into it and it, you just you just want more you want more all the time and you're uncovering dungeons you go around the, the different dungeons uh you know what a dungeon crawler is you go through the dungeons you beat the boss at the end of the dungeon and the combat is really really good fun i mean it's turn-based which you know what that means your, your guys line up on the left the enemy mobs lined up on the right uh, but the combat is actually good a lot of these dungeon crawlers the combat's a bit shit but this one it isn't the combat is really well done i'll tell you how it works i mean for the first i don't know six or seven hours of the game i didn't really have to set up my team very well i mean i did have a tank going on and i did have a healer and i did have me dps but they were all spec dps but as you level them up you get these uh, perk points to put in and you can then start really sorting out the talents into specific roles so 
as I hit kind of level 9, 10, I realized that I needed to start really st sticking the points more in the proper roles for each character. Like that the healer is now a dedicated healer, my tank is now a dedicated tank, and my DPS guy is now a dedicated DPS, whereas they were all kind of more into the DPS side for the first nine levels. The combat works on a mana system. You have like basic attacks that use no mana, and you have attacks that use mana. You, you're not your, your non-basic attacks. Now your basic attacks they generate overcharge and overcharge can be used instead of mana so if you do a, a basic attack you will get 10 mana added to your mana bar in the, in the form of a red overcharge bar. Uh, some characters use overcharge to enhance their attacks for example your DBS guy um, if he stacks up enough overcharge he can unleash all that to do twice as much damage on the enemy than he would if he had no overcharge at all this allows you to really manage your mana well when you're in a dungeon because you might not have uh, any mana portions you might run out of mana portions so you can use overcharge to really look after everybody's mana there's lots of stats on the gear and things that you get as well uh, haste is a very important one because what haste can do that can make your moves come round faster. So for example, if you would normally take two turns for a move, you can stack up haste and you can do that go in one go. So there's a, there's a lot to think about. It's quite deep, the combat system in this. It's, it's a bit confusing at first, but after you've done six or seven battles, it's, it's pretty straightforward and really easy to use. So when you're in combat, you can either choose to get through the battle by using either all your basic attacks and conserving your mana, or you can go straight into your mana pool attacks uh, without even get, have, using any overcharge, but your mana will go down a lot. Or you can use a mix of both. And the way an attack goes on, um, on my game is my tank taunts, then my next move from my tank will he'll bolster that up with a defense. So he's got two defense buffs going. So he's got two defense buffs going. I'll then get my healer to put a, a heal over time on him. So he's got two defense buffs and a heal over time so he's absorbing a shit ton of damage and he's being healed all the time the dps guy will put bleeds on everybody and so the the damage over time is going down on the enemies and then he'll be building his overcharge up and then when his overcharge is around about 40 i then unleash this huge attack and uh, he'll take one of them down pretty much straight away me healer he just keeps an eye on everybody and he just puts a bit of a heal over time on, on different people now all the time you're using up your abilities what happens is you get this burst damage on the left hand side the bottom left charging up now every character has a burst ability and for example the healer the healer's burst ability is he will heal everybody for a small amount but he'll take off two debuffs because the enemy especially as the dungeons get harder you will get more and more debuffs it might be just the damage over time it might be something a lot more sinister than that that you have to take off so you have to keep an eye on your buffs and your debuffs so the combat although it is just basic turn based it is still quite deep but it's very very fun it's, and it's very very grindy but grindy is good if the rewards is there and there's so many different things to collect when you're actually playing the game because you want to equip them to have better gear better enchants and better weapons and so going back and re redoing the dungeon over and over again is actually good and also the first time you've beaten a dungeon you can then turn it up to legendary where you get better loot but obviously the trade-off is you get hard bosses so it's a one of them games guys the best way i can describe this you know what an rpg is you know what a dungeon crawler is so what this game brings to the table that a lot of them don't is absolute huge amount of content 20 30 hours forget forget it 20 30 hours you'll still be scratching the surface of this you, ha you you're talking about hundreds of hours in this game because of the grinding mechanics but it is still fun my only kind of gripes that i've got with this are it is a little bit slow going it is a bit sl too slow for me I would have liked it a bit faster, but you don't want to be going too fast in the dungeons because not only are there mobs knocking around, but there are traps as well. So you have to be careful or you're going to be setting off traps and then you're going to f*** your health over somewhat rotten. If you love RPGs, you'll love this game. Yes, it's a bit on the expensive side. I mean, £25, it's, it's not cheap, but it's one of the best, if not the best, dungeon crawler I've played, certainly for the last few years. It's, it looks good, it plays well. 
It's got a shitload of stuff to do. I mean, outside of the content, well, once you've finished the dungeon, going back, sorting out enchants, sorting out your gears, sorting out your potions, but making more flasks. And there's loads to do. There's a lot of depth to this. That's what I like about it. So as ever, guys, if you are going to pick this up, um, you can get it on Green Man Gaming or just buy it off Steam wherever you want. But if you do want to support the channel, then click the link in the description. That'll take you to... Uh, Green Man Gaming and if you buy it from there I'll get a very tiny commission but they all add up and uh, it all helps the channel. So there you go guys Battle Chasers Night War it is a very good RPG and it is definitely worth a buy.